Business News and Treasury Cabinet Secretary Professor Njuguna Ndungu has challenged counties across the country to come up with the more ways of raising funds locally instead of relying on the national government. At the same time, KRA Commissioner General Humphrey Watanga urged defaulters to take advantage of a tax amnesty that runs up to June 2024. He announced this at the launch of the KRA Taxpayers Month, during which the chairperson of the National Kali Federation, Charles Ongoni, urged for a fairer tax system for the SME sector. To reduce tax compliance costs and thereby lowering the overall tax burden on small business. On this, there is need for seamless synergy between KRA, Juakali sector, and other related agencies for the Juakali sector to benefit and develop this country as a vision in the vision 2030. In our pursuit to enhance voluntary compliance, we have introduced groundbreaking initiatives such as the electronic tax invoice management system, otherwise known as ETIMS, an innovation geared towards automating VAT filings. The tax amnesty program introduced through the Finance Act 2023 is also a key pillar in enhancing voluntary compliance. We are trying to push our KRA and Commissioner General to try and help counties in terms of how to raise their own revenues without also at the same time hurting the rest of the economy. I've seen when you transport something, you pass through this county, you pay a levy, you go to another county, you pay a levy. That is not going to work very well.